A very colorful group of people arrived this year at the 25th anniversary of the bike around the butte. Gotta love that. <laughs> the Century Riders headed out early in the hours of Saturday morning. Their 100-mile trek took them about 20 miles south of Highway 20 and back around the buttes. When we asked them why would anyone do such a thing on a Saturday morning, we got this response. <laughs> you know, it's a good personal goal. Um, great way to stay in shape. The weather's getting nice in the spring, so starting to see a lot more cyclists out and about. And, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a great sport. You don't realize you're exercising, and then you get done, and you feel it the next day, and you know what you did. And, yeah, it's a lot of fun. There were three different bike courses. The fun course, 17.5 miles. The classic course, 40 miles and the 100-mile century course. So how long have you been doing this, John? 16 years it's been now, in a row. So good, weather, uh, good weather and bad. So you do the, uh, the the long trek or the short trek? Today it's the short trek. We've done, we, my wife and I, is my tandem partner, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> we've, done, we've done the century ride, the 100-miler once, and uh, it was weather just like this. But uh, most of the time it's the 40-miler. So you're pretty excited about the day? Oh, yeah, it's a great day. It's just going to be a lot of people out having a good time for a good cause. This year's event wasn't only for the two-legged and two-wheeled participants. Meet Joy. Okay, Andy, where are you from? Marysville, California. And uh, does your dog ride on this trek every time? Yes, or? we do. We ride just about three times a week. So how old is the dog? Uh, she's four years old. Right four years old. And she's been doing this since uh, uh, a been pup? We've coming here to bike around the beach. So this is our fourth year. Yep, and we make it a family event so the kids and the dog come with us. So the whole family comes out. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Many different local organizations were crucial in the success of this year's operation. The Moose Lodge and the Lions Club provided manning at some of the rest stops. How many sandwiches have you made today? Oh, uh, I lost count. About five loaves, I guess. That's a lot, actually. That's a lot, yeah. Can't make them fast enough. The local amateur radio club provided coordination and communication throughout the day. Whatever this rest stop is in Marine, we are here. Uh, this is net control W6 KJ. Uh, Paul, you're at rest stop five. Bike Around the Buttes is designed to assist children, teens, young adults, and their families with diabetes and their diabetic lifestyle, as well as create a support group network for newly diagnosed type 1 diabetics and their families. My name is Weta Wakefield. I'm the executive director of the Yuba Sutter Children's Type 1 Diabetes Support Group and the new event coordinator for Bike Around the Buttes 2010. Actually, uh, this is our 25-year anniversary celebration. Um, the Diabetes Society uh, has run it for the last 24 years, but we are new at this event this year. And all proceeds stay locally for Type 1 diabetic children and their families. Actually, a man named Leroy Irwin started um, this organization, uh, this bike ride, um, in 1984 to 1985. He was type 1 diabetic. Uh, the first ride was actually to Red Bluff or Redding, and that was a little much. So they decided to stay locally and uh, um, ride the Sutter Buttes. And so it's been... Here we are 25 years later. So uh, do you have someone diabetic in your family? Yes, my daughter was diagnosed in the year 2002. It's been um, over seven years now. Um, she's on an insulin pump now and doing very well. Uh, I run a monthly support group held at the Fremont Ride Out Conference Center. Um, and uh, we have different professionals coming, uh, endocrinologists, um, meter companies. We have different speakers every month. And it's a very educational and helpful for every uh, family member that has type 1 in our community. Uh, you can call me. At at 530-329-5339 or you can email us at yscdsg at comcast.net. Reporting from the 25th annual Bike Around the Day, I'm Ken Frazzle for MySYTV.